Hey guys, welcome back to training video. So today we have Miss Marge and Dallas back in the building. So so Dallas basically posts on her spam account and and speaking about Miss Marge Rockefeller. She basically said this is a friend do um does not cut cut you off because you all have not talking or you all think that that person move on so this is how you cut off a friend she, she basically was saying that you know um miss march cut her off because she and miss march was not you know really communicated um off of the internet so that's why miss march cut her off but miss march pop on live and responds to dollars and basically said miss march responds to dollars on beagle live and basically clear the year and say and speak on why she did and why he basically cut off Dallas. So let's get right into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell that's on a post. You can get notified. Let's get right into the video. Dallas situation. I, I just honestly feel like with Dallas, and this is my honest opinion on Dallas, I feel like Dallas, she could be sweet. But Dallas is only like that when she's up on these cameras and these lives and stuff like that. Like, I just don't get the same energy as much as she put onto these lives to be this real friend off the screen. Like, I just don't get that same energy. So, like, my only thing is, I always had Dallas back. I always did. But the energy is never there. It's never there. Only thing Dallas could ever say that she honestly did for me was the thing for my birthday, which was getting a cake and all of that. And then the getting the Uber when we first had met. Other than that, like I'm always there. And only time we talk is when she asks me and she'll call me and ask if I can cash app her and then she'll Apple pay me. That's like more of our conversation more than like genuinely. So I don't know why she posted on her little spam throwing the shade like oh yeah um whatever she said about this is being a real friend well if that's the case why do you only call me and text me when it's some about transferring money like yeah like i don't know i just feel like that's not no she's not broke i'm not saying that she's broke what i'm saying is that she'll ask if i can apple pay her and then she'll cash at me later or whatever the case is i'm not saying that she broke she always pay me my money back but i ain't even be i don't even be sweating it because i'm friends with her you feel me but it's just a simple fact, like, are we friends or are we just transfer buddies off live? Like, what the f***? I don't know. Like, I genuinely don't know. And everybody be like, well, why don't you call them and you express to them and you tell them how you feel and this, that, and the third. When I see that my friend is feeling some type of way, because I'm pretty sure it's not hard to ignore. You and I, you my friends are y'all cordial. Um, we're cordial. We're definitely cordial. Um, but I will say that, like, even with the whole situation that just took place, with the whole stuff that's been going on right here, she's been calling me and she's been checking up on me, like, yo, like, are you okay? This, that, and the third, and all that stuff. So it start to really make me feel some type of way because why the f is she calling my phone before my own best friend, before my own sister, before my own people that I look at as family. You feel me? Like it's weird. 